gods, kings, fire, and blood. Dreams didn't make us kings, dragons did. I have already discussed what House of the Dragon is all about. House of the Dragon promo pictures breakdown, Game of Thrones vs House of the Dragon etc. in my previous videos. In this video, I am going to talk about 5 reasons why Rhaenyra was the rightful heir to the throne without revealing any spoilers. So stay tuned for that. In a lavish ceremony at King's Landing, hundreds of lords did obeisance to the realm's delight as she sat at her father's feet at the base of the Iron Throne, swearing to honor and defend her right of succession. It's the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half-brother Aegon for control of the Seven Kingdoms. Both of them thought they belonged on the Iron Throne. Greetings, lords and ladies. Seven blessings to you. Welcome to Ultimate Book Maniac the one-stop for book and TV series reviews. By now, you must have heard that House of the Dragon will show the war between Rhaenyra and her half-brother Aegon II for the Iron Throne. According to a poll I posted a month ago, a lot of fans voted for Aegon II, but I am going to prove in this video why Rhaenyra's claim was stronger than Aegon II's. So let's jump right into it. First. The king's power to change the laws or set new customs. The old king Jaehaerys abolished the lord's right to the first knight, which was the lord's right to claim any of his subjects pride, which was a disgusting tradition and it shows how good Queen Alicent was at making the right decision, or rather helping Jaehaerys make the right decision. In fact, Jaehaerys himself created the widow's laws which not only protected the second or third wife's right of servants, clothing and income, but it also forbade a man to disinherit the children by his first wife in order to give their lands, seat of property on a later wife or children. Even though it made some lords unhappy, it shows that a king has the power to change the laws, even if it was an unpopular law. Viserys the first was also a king. So he had just as much rights to change the laws or customs as Jaehaerys had. And despite the precedents of 92 and 101 AC, which I discussed in my House of the Dragon What Is It About video, Viserys decided to change the custom of choosing a female claimant over a male and stuck with his decision till the end. It would have made people happy at the beginning, but over time, this tradition could have changed everything. Second, sworn oaths to protect Rhaenyra's rights. In a lavish ceremony, hundreds of lords paid homage to Rhaenyra and swore oaths to protect her rights. These oaths don't just apply to them but also their next generations. If that wasn't the case, every new leech lord would have been required to swear new oaths to the crown. The funny thing is, Breaking one's vows is considered one of the biggest sins in Westeros. That was the reason why everyone hated Jaime so much, despite knowing what he did actually helped the realm. So all those who supported Aegon II's claim, aka all the Greens, were oath breakers, even if it was their fathers who swore to protect Rhaenyra's claim. Third, Viserys refused to make Aegon II his heir. Viserys knew Alicent's ambition of making Aegon the second king, and yet he constantly refused her pleas to change the line of succession. He even rejected her offer of marrying Aegon to Rhaenyra because he knew Alicent only wanted Aegon the second to rule the kingdoms. It's kind of like Cersei disregarding Robert's wishes when she tears up Robert's will. Is this meant to be your shield, Lord Piece of paper. Of the Fourth, Aegon II knew it was wrong. When Aegon II was told of the plan to secretly crown him, Aegon II himself didn't want to do it, saying which kind of brother would steal his sister's birthright, that is, until Queen Alicent and her father, Sir Otto Hightower, convinced him that Rhaenyra would murder them all if she became queen. 
It was the only reason why he accepted. But can we really be sure she would have done it? I know they never got along in the past and they fought consistently, but still, Kinslaying was one of the biggest sins in Westeros. I think Rhaenyra wouldn't have gone that far if it hadn't come to war. And the last, the king's personal preference. In 92 and 101 AC, the male claimant was chosen over the female. But in those events, one thing was different. The old King Jaehaerys was not in favor of the female claimant. That was his personal choice. Even his wife, good Queen Alison, was not happy with this decision as she helped Jaehaerys rule the six kingdoms and made many important decisions with him. This event was the cause of their second quarrel. Viserys, on the other hand, wanted his daughter Rhaenyra to be his heir, and despite many people's requests, he refused to change the line of succession after Aegon II was born. So these were the five reasons why I think Rhaenyra was the rightful ruler to the Iron Throne. What do you think? By the way, if you wanna buy House of the Dragon books like Fire and Blood, The World of Ice and Fire, etc., or the Game of Thrones books, I'll provide their links in the description below, which will take you directly to their Amazon pages. I have already discussed what House of the Dragon is about from a picture breakdown, House of the Dragon vs Game of Thrones etc in my previous videos. I'll also post Dragons and their Dragon Riders, House of the Dragon frame by frame trailer breakdown, House of the Dragon cast breakdown etc video soon. If you like this video, please hit the like button below, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, bye bye, see you in my next video.